Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Explain different methods to make the log information created by SSIS packages available to your developers. So this is a very important question and we should be understanding as we, if we are experienced developers and even, even we are not, we need to understand what type of permissions do we require to take the look into the log files because at the midnight your package fail and you got the call and the next thing you need to take a look into the log file and find out what was the error why the package failed and if you don't have permission then you will not be able to figure it out it's uh, it, it is almost impossible to figure out why why your package failed without like and look into the a log you might get some information from the sql server agent job uh, if you have done some custom login you might have some information but to take a detailed look and uh, you need to get to the log files or log information so let's go to ssdt or bids and take a look what we have here if go to logging and we have five different type of log providers here we have text file we have uh, SQL Server, SQL Server Profiler, Windows uh, Event Log, and XML. I'm going to categorize these uh, five different types of the uh, provider types into three. And that's how the permission can be done. So text file logging. So th this one uh, create the text file and that's where the information is uh, put. Next one is uh, uh, XML files. They will be creating XML files and the, that's where the log information would be. And next one would be a SQL Server Profiler. That's also kind of text file that will be .trc file that will create in a folder and that will be opened by the SQL Server Profiler. So that's our first type. So for text file, for XML file and for trace file that, is, that that's, we will open by the SQL Server Profiler they can be put in a shared directory so we will create a, a shared directories on dev and then we have on sit we have on qa on uat and prod so whenever we move our packages those shared directories or folders will be used and in those directories we will put the our uh, log uh, file they can be text file they can be xml file or they can be trace file for sql server profiler so on those uh, share directories uh, you will give uh, read uh, access to your developers so they can read these files the next one uh, is sql server provider so we have sql server that's where uh, when we enable this type of logging uh, uh, we create uh, our ssis create actually automatically uh, sys uh, ssis log table so what type of information uh, it put it, it put all the information that we do put in text file or xml file or windows event uh, log or th this information is going to be the same for all these uh, different uh, um, logging so you use any type of logging the information is going to be the same but here in this uh, you are putting the information in the table for all of your packages so important thing if it is a sql server table what permission you need you need a read permission so you are going to send an email to your dbs okay provide me the read permission on the sys ssis log table on different environments so even in production you can have the read permission um, they, they would not provide you write or a uh, delete so those permission will not be provided because they, they might think you will go and delete some important records or maybe by mistake you will delete some records so that's why they will give you read permission on sys ssis log table if you would have use sql server login the last one is windows event log in this one when the information is put to, into the event viewer so we will uh, when you enable this one uh, wherever your package run uh, on the machine uh, that's that, that uh, it is going to write the information to the event viewer of that window so if uh, you don't have permission on that server okay then you will not be able to see that they they as a non administrator they the essays can uh, give you permission on uh, event viewer they can give you permission you can see the information and but i haven't seen whole lot of people having the permissions on the uh, window uh, windows uh, even viewer so first of all 
putting the information in uh, in Windows uh, Event Viewer, I don't really recommend that because uh, there is already a lot of information there and uh, by running hundreds of SSIS packages, you are bombarding um, you know a lot of information in the Event Viewer. So you might want to come back and say, okay, I consider the text file or uh, XML file or trace file and even why trace file? Why not to have only text file and just to create that text file with the date time every time you use it and keep them separate and we, we are very used to read the text files instead of even writing to the XML files. But if you feel like, okay, your team is trained on XML files, they can read the XML file quickly. Uh, then fine, you can use the XML file. So these are different uh, uh, type of permission we need. We need folder permissions if we are using text file, um, XML file, or, or a, a SQL Server profiler that will be creating the for that one we have to create the trace files. So we need a folder permission, and we will be re having a read permission on, on those folders. If we are using SQL ser Server, then we need the read permission on this SSIS log table. And if we are, we are using Windows Event Log, then we need the, the read permission on the Event Viewer on that window machine. So that that's it, and. Uh, for this one, um, um, important, uh, you know, when you talk about that, tell them the different uh, types of the uh, logs we, we we are available. What type of uh, logging you have used it? Don't just uh, stop yourself uh, and say I have used login and that's it. You need to explain different parts, the limitations of them, and that's how the people would understand your experience or the best practices you have used. And uh, it is always good idea to discuss the things and uh, tell your point of view and learn the new things. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you next video.